We definitely, you know, game plan for, you know, where he was going to be on certain runs and stuff like that. I, I think, um, you know, when you get into the heat of the battle, you as for me as a quarterback, I can't, I can't, I told you guys earlier in the week, I can't think about him, you know, where he's at. You just got to kind of react. And um, obviously he's a great player and, and, you know, he's the type of player that makes the players around him better too, because you are, you know, when you game plan and, and you bring up a guy's name and, and realize that, you know, where he is on every snap, you know, he makes the players around him better too. Do you feel like you had to get rid of the ball sooner than you wanted to on a bunch of plays? Um, there was a few. I mean, but you know, you know, it's part of not wanting to take a sack, and I'm sure a lot of you know the throwaways. But um, that's just the way I play. I, you know, I don't want to put my put that on my offensive lineman. If if you know a sack is a negative play, a throwaway I don't see it as a negative play. It may be, yeah, your completion percentage isn't going to be as great, but no game was ever lost on a throwaway. I mean, that's just what it comes down to, and and you don't want to put that on your lineman. So. Yeah, there was maybe a few times where I threw it a little early and I, maybe I could have hung in there a little bit longer, but to me, an incomplete pass is far better than taking a sack. And that one uh, hit by Brian Cushing in the fourth quarter where you were just absolutely drilled, it looked like you had a yeah. hard time getting up. Did you ever consider uh, coming to the sidelines or coming out of no, the No, it just didn't seem like there was any air out there <laughs> for a few minutes. So I was trying to breathe and um, it just, you know, kind of knocked the wind out of me. But um, you just, I mean, it's part of the game and you got you to move on and just be tough and, and keep playing. And, you know, we ended up driving the ball down and, and um, you know, we didn't convert, but, um, you know, so it's just a matter of, you know, catching my breath. Is this the most physical team you played this year? Um, they're definitely physical. I mean, we played Jacksonville. That was a physical front, too. Um, we knew that coming in. We knew that, um, you know, their front seven was going to be just as good as anyone we faced, and um, it was going to be a challenge. And, and um, you know, there were some times where we moved the ball well. Like I said, we had some, some big runs, some big pass plays, and, and then all of a sudden it just seemed like we were kicking ourselves, you know, and, and moving back, backwards instead of going front. Yeah. Do you think, Brian, this is now the second time this season that you followed yeah. a really big win with yeah. a not great show. How do you, you said you're happy with how the week starts, but how do you get over that hump? What needs to change? You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think, you know, there was a hangover. We had a great week of practice. Um, we just got to come out and execute. I mean, it's as simple as that. You got to go out and, and um, you can't have negative plays, especially offensively. You can't be going backwards. You got you to be going forwards. You, I mean, I know we weren't great on third third down, but you can't be in third and long all the time. I mean, you're not going to put yourself in a situation to convert many, and, and it's just tough, especially against a defense who, you know, they can rush four and, and you know, apply pressure without blitzing and, and drop a bunch of guys in the coverage. So it's just about, you know, us going out and executing, staying ahead of schedule and, and you know, doing that, I think. You know, I'm not trying to take anything away from them. They outplayed us, you know, but I think for us, we have to look at ourselves at what we can do better. And, and everyone in that locker room, you know, stick together and just be very critical of yourself and, and see what you could have done better to help this team win. And, and um, you know, obviously a lot of respect to, to their team and coaches because, it, you know, they beat us and, and that's just what happened. How big a setback is this then, Brian? I mean, you just like as one game? Or, or yeah, obviously. I mean, I told you guys over the week we weren't going to put ourselves in the playoffs. By winning this game, we we're going to take ourselves out by losing this game. So um, just like you, you do, it's a long season. Obviously, you know, it's terrible to come out here and, and have such a missed opportunity at home. Um, but you got to move on. So we'll, we'll sit there, we'll watch the film, learn as much as we can from it, and, and move on. That's all you can do. I mean, if you sit here and dwell on things like that, you, you're going to have a hangover. Worse than any hangover you can have after a big win. I, I think, I, I truly believe that. And I don't think, you know, I think, like I said, we had a great week of practice. We had a good plan. And really, we just, you know, we hurt ourselves a lot, and we have to execute better. How much does this offense change and in what way when Josh really stepped on the um, You know what, I'm, I'm so, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, plays we missed out there last night. Obviously, Josh, you know, he's a Pro Bowl receiver, broke records last year and only, was it 14 games? I mean, he, he's an impressive player, but regardless if Josh is coming back or not, we have to be better as an offense. That's, that's just the way it is. So, you know, we'll see. I don't, I'm not sure you know, exactly what the plan is, and, you know, it's not something I'm concerned about right now. We just have to be better regardless of who's playing out there. Is there any part of you that can say we've been up to here, or we've gotten this good without three pro bowlers? No, I mean you have to you have to go and execute regardless of who's playing. That's why I say right now I'm thinking about you know what we could have done better to beat Houston, and it's as simple as that. I'm not thinking about okay we get Josh back, how's that going to affect that? Obviously Josh is a great player, but you can't make excuses. We're not we're not in the business of making excuses. We have to own up to, to you know what we put out on the field, and it has to be better. On that flea flicker, did you just need one more count? Was it that yeah, that? I mean, and I, even then, I thought maybe I got enough on it, but I couldn't really you know get into the throw. As you know, it's unfortunate, but um, it was something we felt good about all week. 
with the way their safeties reacted and and um, you know, just a hair hair longer and I can step fully into the throw. Brian, is there time at halftime after a first half that Watt had to make adjustments or do you guys just stick with what you were trying to do? Stick with the plan, do, do what we're doing. I, I think, like I said, we, we were moving the ball on those guys in the first half and, excuse me, um, we just gotta be able to convert when we need to, obviously, you know, um, get down the red zone and, and you know fumble the ball away. I mean that's that hurts and um, you can't do those types of things, especially when you're playing a team uh, who has a good defense like like Houston does. From the standpoint, you took a couple threes, one four shots today. What's your process for uh, you know getting up uh, from those killer shots? It's football. I mean that's what we're here for. And obviously as a quarterback, you don't want to be taking a bunch of shots. That's not where you're you know um, going into the game thinking, man, I'm gonna have to take some shots. But that's part of football, and then you know it's about being tough, especially in in this league and in this division. You have to be able to get back up and, and fight on. That's just the way it is. Is it accurate that that's as many as many kill shots, so, so to speak? As I don't know. I mean, I have to watch the film. I, I really don't know. Does it really not bother you who's carrying the ball? Does it matter? I don't know until I get in the huddle and look who sees back there. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm I'm the quarterback. That's not my responsibility. So, um, I think we have three backs that are more than capable of. Going out there and running the ball well, we saw that you know all season long. So um, you know, for me, it's not even you know something that I think about. What happened on those plays you tripped? Yeah, I just got stepped on, and um, obviously one turned out to be a good play. The other time, you know, I couldn't. I was just one of those where you're falling, you just can't get up. Isn't that an old commercial? <laughs> but um, it was you know for me, we got to figure that out, watch it on the film, and see what happened. And you know, maybe it's yeah. my feet getting back a little bit deeper, or you know, changing the snap count up more, whatever it might be. Mike, who, I mean, uh, Brian, who makes that call on what running back is in for a play? Is it? I don't know. You'd have to ask the coaches. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like in this game, uh, they hadn't had Brian Cushing, they hadn't had Clowney for, for a couple of weeks, and that really seemed to bolster their, their... I mean, I don't know. You go in expecting all those guys to play. You don't know until you get out of the field. Obviously, those are great players. Mm -hmm. They made some big plays for those guys, but I think it doesn't affect our plan. You just got to go out and execute. Everybody good? Right, thanks. Thank you.